Hi, I'm Jill Kirtle, and I'm talking to you from Charlottesville, Virginia. All of my pieces start with my own photography, which is then layered with other fabrics after the photography has been printed on fabric. So sometimes I layer fabrics underneath it and slash through the photos so that it uh, creates both a texture and a difference in color. Many times I add, as you can see in this piece, I'll add glazing almost with organza or tools or other transparent type fabrics that allow the, me to change the colors or add colors. I do a lot of free motion stitching and then I also do hand stitching. Hand stitching to me is like adding those final brush details that is with painting. It just does a little more texture and a little bit broader uh, brush stroke, quote unquote, than a machine stitching does. I also couch a lot of yarn on top of my photos and will do whatever it takes to get to the texture that I really want in my paintings or my pieces. This particular piece is one of my series which I call Urban Voyeurism and that started about six years ago when I moved from uh, Wisconsin to Virginia. And I also moved from a very rural area into a very urban area. And I found such beauty in living in, in the city. It's easy to see the beauty in the wildlife and the flowers and the landscapes of the country. It took a while for me to accept the beauty of the grittiness of a city, of the people of the city, of the concrete of the city, and of the plants and wildlife in the city. And that's what I really have been working on for the last several years, is this whole urban voyeur. The other reason that I work on the urban voyeur cities is I really want to encourage people to notice the beauty and the uniqueness of wherever it is that they live. Too often we think to find good photos or to find inspiration, we have to go to Walden Pond or some other great nature preserve. But that's not true. There's beauty, there is interest, there is excitement and inspiration all around us. I had a teacher one time who said we all, any artist should be able to find inspiration in the eight feet around them. And I totally agree with that. There's always a texture or a color or a subject that can excite you. And so that's the basis for a lot of my work is what is right here, right now, when you open your eyes to it.